Okay, exciting. I've got a new box of saxophone stands today. I can't wait to open them up and have a bit of a look. But you know, saxophone stands are something we all use all the time, but very few of us think about how to choose the right one for us. So today I'm going to give you, I'll be giving you some tips on how to choose the right saxophone stand for you. Plus, I'll be unboxing these bad boys. Should be fun to so stick around. Hey, as always, if you're new here, click the subscribe thing and the bell notification and give us a thumbs up because I'm making new videos all the time. I don't want you to miss out any of them. Right, let's get stuck in. Hey guys, Nigel McGill here from Sax School. I'm so glad you're joining me for another one of these videos. You know, I'm not really the kind of guy that likes to have a lot of gear. I like to have something and then use it for a really long time. I mean, probably in my videos you've seen lots of different pieces of equipment, but I've been a pro player for, you know, over 30 years. And so I use my gear quite a lot and you accumulate bits and pieces slowly. So I like to choose my gear very carefully and make sure I'm going to use it for a long time. It's better value for money and that way you feel like you're really getting your use out of the item. Now, saxophone stands are something that all of us use all the time. I mean, in sax school, we've got you know, thousands and thousands of students, and so I'm getting questions about um, gear all the time, and saxophone stands are one of those things that pops up as well. So, where do we start choosing saxophone stands before we open these ones? I'll tell you about them in a minute. You know, I've been through a few different versions of saxophone stands. This is the first one. Okay, so check out this ugly fella. Now this is kind of like your standard saxophone stand. I've had this one for probably, I don't know, 30 years. And it's done thousands and thousands of shows. Been around the world more times than I can remember. Been to so many different countries. And it's a bit battle-worn and scarred. So what? this is like your standard. These days, I suppose, you can buy copies of these that are made in China and they are super cheap and they're super basic. This, because it was made such a long time ago, I don't even know where it's made, I don't even know what brand it is. But this is kind of like the generic type of saxophone stand that you might find if you want to just go bog standard, go on Amazon and get the El Cheapo saxophone stand. So how does it work? Well, obviously it comes in two parts, which is useful because then you can pack it down and you can even take this off if you want and you can put it in your bag and take it with you to a gig. Now, a lot of saxophone cases actually have a pocket on the front where you could probably fit this in, and I've fat, fat that in, I've fitted that in lots of saxophone uh, pockets. But mostly when I, but mostly when I'm out doing uh, regular gigging, I have a, a second bag that I carry with me with all my bits and bobs, like maybe a music stand, maybe my microphone, all those other bits and pieces, so it'll easily fit into there. It's not fancy. It does the trick. It holds your saxophone quite securely here. You can adjust this up or down depending on whether you're an alto, that's set for alto, or you can move it down there for tenor. They work quite well. In all the thousands of shows I've done on a saxophone stand like this, my saxophone has never fallen off the stand. It's always worked. Nothing is really broken. Something I do like is if you do a lot of doubling, you can stick a peg on here for flute or clarinet. In fact, this peg will do flute and clarinet. And some of these have got a peg on both sides. So you can have a flute here and a clarinet there, uh, or two flutes or two clarinets or whatever. And that's kind of useful. In fact, I've even got glow in the dark tape in there from when years ago when I was doing a, a show where it was really dark in the pit. And I've even got a grommet off a Grolsch beer bottle, which happens to fit perfectly on there and makes my flute nice and quiet when I put it on the stand. Okay, so that's a dead cheap stand. You know what? I would recommend something like that if you're going for the, a cheap entry level stand. By the way, I'd just say that the Chinese versions of these aren't as well made as these ones. And I have seen some of the Chinese ones and when you fold them up, they don't fit together as well. They're not sturdy here. And also things like the ends can fall off. So, you know, it's an entry level, it will work. It's not pretty, it's not fancy. Let me show you the next step up. So, on my Alto at the moment, I'm using this stand and this is made by Hercules. Uh, Hercules make lovely saxophone stands, in my opinion, because they're really sturdy. I like the fact that the yoke part here holds the saxophone really securely, and it's got this little upturn. I don't know if you can see it on there. It's got a little upturn on here, which means that when you put the saxophone on, it just sort of locates more easily. Um, the other thing is it folds down really well. So check this out, if I can remember how to do it. So you, you can fold the legs in like this, and you can fold the top down like this. There we go. 
these bits fold down too, I think, somehow, there we go, and here. So actually what you end up with is something that's very compact, and it will easily fit into your gig bag or it'll fit into the pocket on the side of your saxophone, particularly if you've got a, a tenor case that's got a decent sized pocket on the side. Um, so it's actually really good. And no rattly bits, which is actually fantastic. And nothing can fall off it either, which is actually super good. Now the other thing is with this stand, you can actually put a peg. You know, I said about the doubling peg. Well, this has got a place for two pegs. So you can stick a flute peg and a, and a clarinet peg or a piccolo peg or something on there. So if you're doubling, this is great. And actually, I think this is a massive step up. They're a bit more money than the El Cheapo one that I showed you. But these are great. And I can imagine I'll have this saxophone stand for a really long time because it's really sturdy. But I've got one other version of saxophone stand that I want to show you. Okay, check this fella out. This has been my regular gigging saxophone stand for years and years and years. And actually, this is fantastic. It's made by K&M. Uh, it's made by K&M. And, &M. and uh, the really cool thing about this is it's super lightweight. It's very... Uh, reliable, it does hold the, the tenor or the alto really securely. And in fact, you can just slide these bits up and down depending on whether you want to be on an alto or on a tenor. But this is the cool thing, check this out. When you unscrew this, like this, and get it far enough down, the whole thing packs down into one neat little package. And it comes in a soft bag that you can stick in and then it'll actually go down the bell of your saxophone or just in the case of your saxophone, so or your gigging bag or in the pocket on the outside. Personally, I don't like to keep this down the bell of my saxophone because I have had things down the bell before when I've been traveling, saxophone gets knocked over in the case, this bangs against the bell, puts a dent in it, not pretty. So you can store it down the bell of your saxophone, I personally wouldn't recommend it, but this is an awesome saxophone stand. Now, problems with this, well, not really. I mean, it goes together really easily. Uh, I remember I saw this when I was doing a gig somewhere in the West End and a player had it and I thought, what on earth is that? It looks so awesome. And I had to get one and I was so glad I did. You can't put a doubling peg on this. You can't like fit a flute or clarinet peg on it. But because it's so compact, you can actually just carry a separate peg for clarinet or flute, like a freestanding one. Um, the legs here fall off. You can see, I think I've lost all, yep, I've lost all three of mine. They've fallen off over the years. But it's very secure and it's very sleek on stage as well. So if you have a, your saxophone on the stand, on the stage, it actually looks pretty cool. So I would definitely recommend, recommend one of these. So how do we choose which saxophone stand is right for us? Well, it really depends on how you use your saxophone stand. And actually, that's what I'm getting to with the stand that's in this box. So if you are traveling a lot, you're gigging a lot, you're taking your saxophone stand with you on the road, then you really want something that's compact, that's lightweight, that's reliable. My choice would definitely be this one, okay? This K&M stand, I think these are absolutely mega. If you are a gigging sax player, but you also want to take pegs for doubles like flutes and clarinets, Hercules, in my opinion, are awesome. Some people don't like the yellow bits on here, and I guess it would kind of bug me if I was, had that up on stage all the time, because it's a bit blurry, isn't it? But they are really sturdy and they're really well built and I think it's going to last a long time. Bit heavier, but that will be my choice. If you just want to get something that's entry level, uh, then you could consider one of these, but I would spend the extra few pounds and go for a Hercules one, if I'm honest with you, because I think you're going to have it for a really long time. Plus, you've spent so much money on your saxophone, why risk uh, putting it on a cheap stand that could eventually, you know, your saxophone could fall off. So I'd go for the more expensive stand every single day of the week. The other thing is, if you are the sort of musician that just likes to play at home, or if you're studio based, then it doesn't really matter about how well it can pack down. It really matters about how sturdy it is. And in that case, I would go for the Hercules as well. So you need to think about how you're using your saxophone stand to make the decision about which saxophone stand you buy. Now, I've still got to get in and open this box though. Hey, just before I open the box though, what sort of saxophone stand do you use? Let me know what brand you use and whether you use it for traveling or whether you just use it at home. I'd love to know. Okay, it's time to open the box. Now, what I've been looking for in a saxophone stand is something that I can just use in my studio here because I'm here all the time. Uh, so I want something sturdy. I'm, what, I'm not bothered about how compact it is, but I actually want something that is higher because I'm always either playing and filming when I'm sat up 
or or I'm standing, uh, or I want the, the saxophones to actually be taller for me in the shot. So I've ordered some tall saxophone stands from Hercules. So let's have a look. Well packaged. Okay, here we go. So, there we have it. Hercules Alto Antenna Saxophone Stand. Tall ones. So, let's have a look inside. All the Hercules stuff seems so well made. It's just... It's actually a relief when you compare them to some other products. And I have to say, I bought these with my own money. I'm not being sponsored or endorsed or anything like this. I just genuinely bought these stands because I like Hercules. I think they, are, they make great quality products. So let's have a look here. So we've got the top bit. Now this is a cool thing. Actually, it's already assembled as it comes out of the box. So we've got the top section. Now these are interesting because you can use the one stand for either alto or tenor saxophone. So that makes things really easy. They've got the same system here. We can slide it up and down. See that? We can slide it down for tenor and then up for alto. Very good. And this is the base. Wow. You should feel the, the weight in this. This is a really sturdy base. Okay, so let's have a look. Very good. I'm running out of space here. Let's put this one down on the side. So we've got a really sturdy base. Now with this tall saxophone stand, we don't have any option here for putting a flute or a clarinet peg on, but I'm not bothered about that because like I said, this is simply just for my studio and it's only going to do one job and that is support my saxophone. All right, look at that. And then it's adjustable this way as well. Very good. All right, there we go. So they're all set up now. I've got my saxophones on the stand. A little bit of adjusting, but actually they're a piece of cake and when the saxophones are on there, because the base is so wide, it actually feels really sturdy. So I'll be super confident having those in my studio on the stand all the time. And it also means they're directly ready for me when I'm standing up and playing or whether I'm sitting down and playing. So absolutely love those. So have a think about what's the right saxophone stand for you. If you're looking for something tall in your studio like what I'm looking for, then this is a great choice, a Hercules tall saxophone stand. But otherwise, perhaps you want something that's more compact. Perhaps you want something that's got doubling pegs on it. Or perhaps you're just going for a cheaper option. Like I say, I definitely suggest spending a little bit more getting a sturdy saxophone stand. I like Hercules, but there's plenty of other brands on there as well. Maybe you could let me know in a comment below what brand of saxophone stand you prefer. I'd love to know. Hey, I hope that's been helpful to you. Don't forget to check out the other lessons on the channel. And of course, if you really want to level up your skills, go check out what we're doing at mcgillmusic.com. You can join the thousands of students that are using sax school every single day. And these are players, some are absolute beginners, but some are actually out gigging all the time and even making their own albums. And they're a member of our, they're a member of our amazing community, connecting with other players, developing their skills and having a load of fun. So that's all happening at mcgillmusic.com and you can get a 14 day trial over there right now. Okay, well, have fun, keep practicing hard, I'll catch you next time.